This is a tale of the blacksmith's wife. Now the blacksmith of this village was a mighty, mighty man. Tall, dark of beard, with the occasional sparks that would land, because even in those days there were fiery beards at times. He had a mighty hall adjacent to his blacksmith shop, in which was adorned with the heads of monsters and creatures that he had gone out and hunted, who had attacked the village over the years. His wife was something else altogether, seemingly slight, not quite frail. The strength was in her eyes. On one day they were blue, on another brown, on another hazel. And so it went. She was one to wear clothing that bore scales at times, and people spoke softly that she was a witch, but she was so kind and quiet that none could make such an accusation. Word came that a dragon had come. And the blacksmith vowed, I have killed these other monsters. I will slay this dragon who is killing our neighbor's sheep and cattle and, and taking their children. And he went and he forged a mighty spear, and he forged a sword, and he forged a very crude but effective shield. And he went to go out, and his wife said, let me bless your weapons. Let me give them my blessing. And she did. And she said, another boon, please may I follow you and watch you in battle as you have victory over this creature. Of course, and I will keep you safe. But Keep at a distance, good wife. And they went out. And the creature was in the field. The dragon is devouring cattle and scattering the, the villagers. And the blacksmith challenged the dragon with his spear. And the dragon accepted. And almost immediately blew fire and wrecked the shield. And the shield had to be tossed aside. And he took the spear and was prepared. And it was thrust aside. And he had to take his sword and stood there defiant, but almost certain death. And the dragon struck him down and was preparing to eat him. And his wife said, Dragon, softly but powerfully. And the dragon came to attention. A matron and a maid, either way, was better than an old blacksmith. <laughs> and he approached. And he breathed fire to, to kiss this woman to death. And she stood unafraid and untouched. And he smote at her. And she thrust the strike aside and struck him down, and he was unconscious. She took the blacksmith's sword and struck off the head of the creature. Then she took her other form and circled the unconscious body of her husband and let her magic flow into him. For a week she waited, afraid of his death. But as he was rousing, she turned back to her human form, and he woke with his head in her lap and said, Did I have victory? Yes, husband, we had victory. Thank <laughs> you.